Hey guys, welcome back to another Brave Adventure. Today's adventure, the Omni Hotel at the Battery at Truist Park in Atlanta. This hotel is super convenient coming to a game because it's literally right here at the gate so let's go inside check it out and see what they have to offer okay guys so we're here at the omni battery just got off of the elevator at our hotel and as you can see we are up on the 10th floor so pretty high floor it goes up to 16 16 has like the best views um but this floor is number 10. Still nice views. We are in room 1017. So the halls are pretty dimly lit. But very nice. Has really nice decor. And we are right here. Room 1017. Let's go in. Alright, we have a double, a double room, so the room is, you know, your standard hotel size room, um, you know, you have two beds in here, and you have the large screen TV, you have your specialty Atlanta baseball glasses, these are awesome, hmm, can I take one of these home? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but you have your ice tray here, your Keurig with all the trimmings and fixings. And then you have you some storage space. You have a, that's nice to have um, a mini cooler, like a mini fridge. So that's nice. Then you have a safe down here. And then just some more storage. So, around here you have your table, nice table, and then you got your little uh, mirror here. Now this right here, this is amazing. Look at this. You have like views of the grassy knoll area over here where you can play. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see. That is super nice right there. You can kind of just walk out of your hotel room go out into the battery which is really really cool um and then you have your pool like you can overlook the pool that is so nice um then they have like a little bar area over here as well so it's super super nice and then look over there you can literally see <laughs> the field from here of course there's no game <laughs> be nice if there was a game right now i can just kind of watch from here in the AC because it is pretty warm outside. I think it's 80 degrees. So yeah, this is super nice. Um, so like I said, the room, not so bad. You got the two double beds. Um, got your little, you know, table right here, your nightstand over here and over here. Has some decor in here. The Georgia State baseball type of cutout um and let's go into the bathroom so the bathroom has like one of those sliding doors like a barnyard door a barn door i should say um so it's really nice look at that you got your shower your sink area vanity so, I mean, you know, not too much to it. Um, you know, rather just simple bath, uh, bathroom. Um, nothing much to it. And then right here you have your closet. Uh, closet space in here. So, you have some of our stuff in here. but And it comes with a robe. Two robes, actually. So, if you want to take a shower and step out, you have two robes. Um, they look like they're like large size maybe let's check it out and say how big these robes are because me i like to have a big robe on i don't need nothing small and little okay so these aren't these are like tiny 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 size robes. okay so they are rather wide so if you do decide you want to use a robe you have that there 
but overall, I mean, this is a nice hotel, especially if you're coming here for game day. Um, it's a really nice one. Now, some of the rooms can be um, larger. Some have balconies. This one did not have a balcony. Um, some have like a, their own private terrace with a fire pit. Um, just depends on what you want, how much you want to spend. Now, during game time, they're, they run a little bit more. Um, they could go up as high as like $700 a night. So, just depends on what you want to spend, what kind of view you want. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it is the most convenient hotel for going to see a game. So, definitely... One of the things that I like about this room is that it smells clean and it's kind of crisp. Um, it doesn't seem dingy or dirty in here. Um, and it gives you good ample lighting. So I, I really like this room. I wouldn't want to spend $700 for it. Um, that's a lot of money. But if you can get a good deal during game day or non-game day, then definitely something to come check out. <laughs> So you have to have your key in order to go wherever you're going. So they have full cool fitness and going down. Plaza Lobby. And they have the pool, the event deck, the main lobby, and the meet room. So you have to have your key card to access floors 4 through 16. Okay, so this is the third floor. This is the um, Plaza Lobby area where they have... Um, ballrooms and then they have a restaurant as well and then they have a um, little seating that you can sit down and they have a, a gift shop it's only open currently right now between 12 and 6 but it's some cute little things in there like little ATL stuff um, brave stuff so a cute little chair right there um, and then you go outside. So you go out to the, um, battery area from here. So it's, um, it's a small area. It's not too huge, but it gives you just enough what you need. Uh, this is an open bit. Oh. And then the front leads out to, um, into the battery. So usually on the weekends, and it is raining, so I'm going to step back. But usually on the weekends, it is super busy. Um, today is the Sunday, early in the morning. We were out here last night, and this place was flooded with people. But right now, it's kind of busy. It's kind of um, quiet because it's early. So when you come out. You come out here. This is the front of the hotel. And yeah, you're right here. Right at the chop house gate. So you, when you come out, you're right in front of the chop house gate. Um, so, I mean, super convenient. Like, this is the most convenient hotel if you're wanting to stay here and, um, you know, for a game. So going into the hotel, we're just gonna go back in. I'm gonna show you the um, the bar area. So they have like a little restaurant, a very, very small restaurant with a few chairs and tables. And then they have the bar area here. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to get something to eat here, this is an option for you as well. So the pool is on the fifth floor. Um, you can stay at on this floor. Um, the gym is right here. So they do have the gym in here that you can go to. I'll just come in here and give you like a brief overview. It's a pretty nice size gym. I mean, this is 
bigger than some of the gyms that I've seen at hotels before. Of course, they have the TV here. I'm sure when Braves games are on, you can work out and watch a Braves game if you're not going to the game on game day. Um, so they have some weights. They have the balls. Of course, a bunch of treadmills. And they have stationary bikes. Again, more TV. Another TV. Um, they have a mat over here. So if you needed to use a mat um, to do some exercises with the balls, you could. And then they have um, a weight station right here. Over here as well. And then they have a hydration station here. Um, you know, if you needed towels or some water, they have all of that here for you. And then the um, kettle balls are right here. So um, it's a very nice gym. And then of course outside here, you know, outside through here is the pool area. So yeah, very, very nice gym. And it's, um, seems like it's well maintained. So I like that about this place. And then they have, they have the towels already on the treadmills for you. So, you know, you can put the towel around so you don't get too sweaty. But I really like this gym. Okay, this is how you know this place is fancy. Look, they have a freaking Peloton in here. <laughs> Wow, this is nice. Yeah, that's how you know it's a nice place. They have the Peloton. So that's pretty fun. This is the only one. There's only one. So the other ones are just regular stationary bikes. And I didn't realize that was a Peloton until I looked at the screen and I was like, oh, snap, that's a Peloton. <laughs> so that is really cool. Okay, another thing I missed when I came in, I just saw this when I was on my way out, but they have complimentary headphones so cool so if you have um if you forgot your headphones or needed headphones then you can go here and get you some but you know like my phone the phone that i have now i don't have um a jack for headphones everything on my phone has to be wireless so um yeah these wouldn't work for me on my head um with my phone maybe they need to come up with a way to do like disposable wireless ones. I mean, I don't know how cost effective that would be. And if that was an option, I probably wouldn't want it because then it would raise the price of um, this already expensive place. So, yeah, I, I don't know. But yeah, I think a lot of people, they don't have these anymore for their phones. But if you do, it's, it's actually pretty cool. You know, you can get you a little pair of these to listen to you some music. Pretty cool, Omni. All right, so getting off um, the pool here is on the fifth floor. Going through here, you have to have your key card. And then they have restrooms. So if you need to use the restroom while you're at the pool, then they have access to um, family restrooms. So we're just gonna have the pixie in here and see how cute this is. Oh, it's cute. Look, <laughs> it's got like fresh popcorn on there. And it has a shower too here. So this is really cool. Maybe I'll um, tell my husband this is where he'll have to take his showers instead of using my bathroom upstairs. <laughs> it's like, I'm just kidding. He wouldn't go for that anyway. <laughs> and then this one right here is double, bu double bubble. So that's cute. This one doesn't have a shower though. Just that one bathroom has a shower. So, pretty cool. You have to use your key card in order to get out here um, because it's for registered hotel guests only. So let's use our card to get out. So the pool area is, um, it's okay. It's not, not huge, but it's really nice though. They have these that you can use and I don't see a sign that says that you have to buy these. So I'm assuming that anyone can use them. Maybe during peak season time, 
they may make these profitable and charge you for them but i don't see a sign and they're cute little like mini cabanas they don't have a um they don't have like a curtain or anything like that just somewhere to come and then they have these couches and during seasonal time they have a bar here but it's closed right now because it's although it is spring they haven't officially opened which they will open soon this right here is a private area and um, if you have like a function then you can um, have this area here it's really cool like you can actually overlook um, the ball stadium but um, this is just some seating I think in the summertime it could get really really hot um, so you know it, it could be really hot out here during the summertime but right now it feels really good it's not super hot but it does offer really cool views that you can see um i really love how you can just like kind of overlook the ball field you can't really see the diamond from here but it's okay it's all good it's just it's nice to just be here and then they have a fire pit right here so this is really cool to come especially if you're staying during the winter time fall and winter this would be super useful um, because it can get kind of cold here in Atlanta. So this would be really nice to have. But this is just an overview of the pool area. Our room is up on the 10th floor. We're overlooking the pool. We could see the diamond from our room. But this is a spectacular view. I love it. This is on the 5th floor too. So you're not on the ground level. And it does, um, you know, you can feel like you're up. And then over here if you go over here then you can see like views of the battery um so yeah so you can see like views of the battery so that's it's really nice they did a good job when they um when they created the style and the architectural style of this place it's, it's really unique and gives a unique perspective um it's a little bit too warm to use this right now <laughs> But I know that this would be nice during the winter time. But yes, very nice. Okay, so the pool goes from zero feet, like a zero entry shallow level. And it goes to two feet. And then it goes to three feet, six inches. And then it goes to three feet, six inches. So, um... room that like um overflows water or something for kids this hotel doesn't have much kid friendly things um but this is a really nice area if you can just kind of enjoy the sun and the breeze and get your drink whenever this does open whenever the um, bar does open all right waking up to my morning and this is the view Huh? Look at the view. It is quiet, unlike yesterday. <laughs> Mommy. It is empty. Mommy, it's open. It's open, yeah. No. But it is. Oh, it's it not is raining. So quiet out there. No. It is so peaceful, it seems like. Yesterday was chaotic, but today you can actually go out there and uh, explore without a lot of loud noise and things. But. What a beautiful view for this morning. Okay, guys. So, today is checkout day. And um, I have to say, I have thoroughly enjoyed the time here at the, batter at the Omni, at the Battery. The hotel was great. Everything um, from the time we arrived to now has been just flawless and seamless um, so when you arrive they only have valet so there is no self parking there are parking garages located around um the battery but there's no overnight parking so they tell you not to park in those garages um because you know you could risk getting towed or something like that but um, the hotel does have valet only it is 44 dollars as of today march 25th 
Um, and it's, it's nice because you have in and out privileges. So it's not like you go and park and then you can't, you know, get your car again or, you know, or there's a fee to get it in and out. So it's $44 um, per night and you do have in and out privileges. When we check in, the people at the front desk were so helpful, so friendly. They greeted us um, with a smile. It was really, it was really warm and inviting. So um, I felt really, you know, good coming in. Um, you know, because when you go somewhere and you stay at a hotel, you want to be um, invited in as a guest, and you want to have friendly staff members. Um, they were very helpful. They answered any questions um, that we had. And, um, you know, they were always, you know, letting us know, hey, if you need anything, come down, call, we're here. When we got into the room, it was uh, very clean. It smelled clean. It didn't smell like, it didn't smell dingy or mildewy. Um, everything in there was great. No complaints about that. The pool area, you know, it's a small pool. It doesn't give much for children. Like if you're looking for like a, you know, a kitty area or a splash pad or something like that. Um, it doesn't really have much for children, but you know, hey, it's a pool. It has nice furniture. Um, like I said, they have the little um, beddings um, that you didn't have to pay for when we went. So that was nice. Um, full service gym. The gym was great. Um, they have a bar. So when we went to the, we did go to the bar. I didn't show the um, us at the bar or anything like that because there were several events and it was. Um, not chaotic, but it was super hectic down there, and there was only two bartenders, um, and they were very overwhelmed. They ended up shutting the bar down early, so um, we didn't show much of that, but they do have the bar. Um, there was a portion of it that I did show when when we went in the lobby area, so yep, they have a bar and a small restaurant with maybe about four or five tables, um, so they do, you know, serve food there. Um, we ended up getting um, breakfast. The breakfast was good. Now, I will say the service at breakfast, the only hang-up, if I say if I had one, would be that when we went to breakfast, there were two other people um, down there eating. So, not a lot of people. It was just three tables that were occupied, um, our table and two others. And it took us almost an hour to get our food. And, I mean, we ordered, you know, an omelet and then we had like bacon and eggs and pancakes um so nothing like crazy or exquisite but it did take like almost an hour and there weren't many people um there in the um in the restaurant so um that was a little bit you know <laughs> weird but you know we didn't complain or anything like that you know you never know why something is slow maybe they were short staff or or whatnot but um, it, it did take a, a minute to get the food, but, you know, no complaints here. But overall, I mean, we had a pleasant stay. Um, we were able to go out into the battery that day. We went around, we ate um, at a restaurant there, went to Fat Tuesday, had a daiquiri. Um, so, you know, we, we the kids hung out and played with other kids there. So it was all in all a great, great experience. It weren't too many options um, for children so if you're looking for a hotel that has a lot of kitty options um, or something to keep the kids um, attention going and preoccupied you're not really gonna find it there there was no arcade um, there was no kids events no kids activities um, so yeah that was if I you know had to give them something that they can improve on I would say just having something for kids even if it's just a small arcade um, that they could go down to and play or just the addition of maybe like a splash pad or something for kids at the pool. So that's my take on it. Hopefully I will see you guys um, around the battery and at the Braves games. So go Braves. Chop on.